Good. Good. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, my V Brown Bag Tech Talk Community Involvement for Professional Growth. Uh, it's kind of a, just a real quick little chat. Uh, hope to inspire people to get out and kind of be active in the community. A little bit about me. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at ExploreVM. I blog at ExploreVM.com. Uh, I also run the ExploreVM podcast. Notice the branding, kind of big, to, you know, in community involvement. Uh, I participated in Virtual Design Master, Tech Field Day, and professionally, I'm a systems engineer with a company called Presidio. So what are we going to talk about? We're going to, first of all, we're going to talk about the use of social media in IT. Um, a lot of us here have Twitter handles on our, on our badges. That is very important from what I've seen in the V community here. Um, quick little story, a few years back, before I even got into IT, I started getting into, you know, on Twitter, I started following a bunch of people, um, you know, started making those relationships through Twitter, and I developed my blog, and I got out there, and I lost my session. I, I did the wrong part. Okay, okay. So, I, <laughs> we don't, we're going live. Um, so, we don't need, you know, <laughs> thanks, you threw me off. Started building my blog, I started interviewing people. How do I get into the field? What do I need to know? And one of the guys I, I chatted with, you know, he's like, cool, you know, whatever. We stayed Twitter friends for a long time. A couple years back, I lost my job. It's part of a big, you know, kind of restructuring event. Sent this tweet out. I was laid off on Friday. Sent this out on Monday. Hey, looking for a job. Within 20 minutes, that guy who I interviewed for my blog said, you know, I've been following your career for a couple of years now. We've got an opening. Why don't we, you know, why don't you come join us? And uh, so, yeah, staying involved, making those relationships was... Uh, you know, helped get me to the company I'm at now, which has been, I'd say, incredibly invaluable to helping my career grow. Uh, but other aspects of community involvement as well, outside of just social media, is getting up here and doing something like this. How many people here go to your local VMUG meetings? Okay, most, most people. How many people go to any other meetups, any other technology groups? One, two. Stuff like that is huge. Not only just going and listening and making those relationships, but also finally taking the step forward and presenting and getting up there and sharing what you know. I do community sessions all the time at VMUGS and I'll tell, I'll, I'll start like, you know what? I'm not the brightest guy in this room. And honestly, something I might say might be wrong, but this is what I've seen, this is what we've done, this is how I fixed it. Let's have a conversation, like let's all share our knowledge. And through that, we make you know, a lot of really great conversations and we help everyone out. Um, and then going back to what I talked about with branding, so Explore VMO across everything, being able to be visible really helps out when you're trying to be, uh, you know, when you're trying to be active in the community. Uh, I, I lock down my domain, you know, Twitter handle, I got stickers, uh, stuff like that to you know, give yourself a solid brand across all platforms. So get out there on you know, Twitter, Facebook pages, LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is huge for job hunting as well as just sharing your content. Um, your domain, uh, even stuff that you might not even think about, like Instagram, uh, Snapchat, I'm snapping, Snapchat, and uh, Google Plus is still a thing, I, somehow. I still send my content out on there because Google likes when, you know, you can search, it shows up in Google a lot easier. Um, I am a huge proponent of giving back to that community that helps me grow. So I'm here doing this on a speaker pass. And I'm only comfortable on a speaker pass because I spent so much time at VMUGS learning from others and finally getting out and speaking. And so now I'm gonna go present in a room with several hundred people, hopefully. Hopefully my content's good and they wanna actually come listen to me talk. Um, but you know, so it's, you just gotta get out and give back. Um, also, I mean, we're all technologists at this point. You gotta you know, make sure you keep up with the times. Um, see where things are going. When I left school, when I first entered IT, I was a Microsoft server engineer looking at you know, Active Directory, DNS, you know, your basic, basic infrastructure. I stumbled upon a class for this new emerging virtualization technology and it blew my mind. I loved doing it, it, was, it seemed so cool. And even now, to this point, I'm just, you know, obviously I'm still very heavily involved with VMware, but I look at other things like backup and recovery, data protection, networking, uh, automation, cloud, Azure, AWS. Like I'm doing more and more of that with my data center career. You know, if you'd ask me five, six, seven years ago what I'd be doing in that time, it, it, you just gotta be able to roll with the punches and shift. Um, continuing to train, certify, and grow. Um, I work for VAR. 
we kind of value the certifications. It helps us show our clients, hey, we know what we're talking about. We've got all these certifications. Your company might not actually, you know, private companies sometimes just don't care about these certifications. But by getting out there and doing those, it, it's, I, I look at it as more like helping yourself grow. It keeps you learning. It, it's a great way to find new content. It's a great way to find new technologies. And you know what? You might not be looking for a job, but you, you, you really get into this technology. You know, you say you start diving into AWS, and before you know it, you kind of decide that's where you want to go. Or somebody you're talking to is like, oh, you're doing this with AWS. Why don't we chat? So, you know, keeping up that networking and keeping up your skill set, you'd be surprised what kind of comes your way. Um, I'm also a huge, huge, huge proponent of helping your coworkers strive. I can't imagine everyone here is, you, you brought all of your coworkers with. Your company, there's no way they sent everybody. Take what you've learned at this conference, take it back to your office. Help teach everyone else around. Go to your vMugs. When there's, if there's a vMug session on what's new at VMworld or if you're in conversations between breakouts, chat, you know, share this knowledge, help people grow. Um, Chris Wall has a quote in one of his posts or one of his podcasts about iron sharpens iron. We're not, as, a, as, as coworkers, we're not, we're not here to fight each other. We're all here as the business unit to help the company grow. As much as people don't like to think that IT is part of the business, you know, it, it absolutely is. Because without the, the, the full infrastructure of the business, what's the point of IT? That's our goal. So by everybody helping each other out, being great you know, team players, and helping that new guy learn, or being willing to learn from somebody you know, within your company, you get a lot of benefit. Um, and also, another, another way to get involved, uh, just shameless promotion, <laughs> Virtual Design Master. This was an online uh, reality contest ran by Angela Luciani, Eric Wright, Melissa Palmer, um, that pits people from around the world in a VCDX style uh, design contest. You're given a weird scenario. You're given less than. You're given five days to write a full design doc, sent in for judging, and then you defend it live on camera as thousands of people around the world were watching. Um, I ended up taking third place the season I participated. My whole goal was to not go out first, and I, I was rather happy with where it turned out. But by doing this, a I learned a bunch of new technologies. It got myself and my brand out there. And it, people started chatting me up. You know, I was on the, the train at VMworld here, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, on my way back to my hotel, and I hear, hey, virtual design master. I turn around, and somebody's like, yeah, we watched you. That's cool. Like, you know, it, it opens doors. Shameless plug number two. V Brown Bag. You're all here at the the V Brown Bag sessions. Um, I recently joined up as a co-host, but there are plenty of opportunities to come on and host. Start what you know if you're not watching the the weekly. Webinars, give those a look. A lot of cool stuff going on. And then also, don't be afraid to jump on and host. You've, you got to chat for 45 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. You know, you got a, a, a topic. They're always looking for hosts. Uh, there's openings for all sorts of stuff. So don't be afraid to get out there and share your knowledge. Uh, any questions, go ahead and grab me. I'll be around the conference. Um, my blog's got a lot of information out there. And I'll also be presenting. Wednesday, I don't remember the room, but I'll be presenting on free tools for your VMware environments. Uh, feel free to find me. So thank you all very much.